I thank the chair. Mr. President, uh, I, I want to uh, speak uh, with my colleagues today about a, uh, a remarkable and really historic event that occurred uh, in my state of Connecticut this past Sunday, October 15th, when the University of Connecticut dedicated the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center uh, associated with the University of Connecticut Library and Stores a uh, center named, obviously, for the great former senator from the state of Connecticut, father of my colleague and uh, dear friend, uh, the current senator, Chris Dodd. Uh, it was a, uh, a spectacular day, a beautiful fall day in Connecticut, but obviously it was more than the weather that distinguished the day. What happened really was a fitting tribute that will go on through the years and decades ahead uh, to Senator Tom Dodd uh, and the remarkable record of achievement that he built here in the United States Senate, where he served from 1958 to 1970, and in the years uh, before then. The, the events began with a dedication at the library site itself and then proceeded to the Gample Pavilion where it looked to me like eight or 9,000 people packed in to hear the President of the United States, President Clinton, deliver the first in a, a lecture series uh, that will emanate from the Thomas Dodd Research Center, in this case specifically focused on the Nuremberg trials uh, 50 years after because Senator Tom Dodd was a prosecutor there. Mr. President, uh, Tom Dodd, as President Clinton said, spent his life in the service of his country, trained as a lawyer, serving as an FBI agent, then as a lawyer for the United States government. He was throughout his career, a great fighter for freedom, for human rights. And it is to the study of human rights that this research center uh, will be committed. Senator Dodd fought the tyranny of racism as a, an attorney prosecuting civil rights cases in the 1930s, which was a long time before most other Americans thought about the idea of civil rights. And throughout his time here in the Senate and before in the House, he was a great fighter against the tyranny of communism. One of the great uh, principled, fervent anti-communists of the Cold War period who put us as a nation on a course to understand that the Cold War was not, as some historical revisionists would have us believe, uh, just a kind of uh, tug of war between two uh, uh, great powers, the United States and, and Russia, but a conflict of ideas, a continuation of the struggle between good and evil, between freedom and tyranny that is in its way the history of our species on this earth. Senator Tom Dodd understood that the battle against communism, the Cold War, was part of that struggle of good against evil. His passion for justice, his hatred of oppression, his understanding that human rights began with the vision that every individual is sacred because God created that individual. His understanding that we had to strive to establish the rule of law to protect human rights and to promote justice was expressed magnificently, brilliantly, in his work as an executive trial counsel at the Nuremberg War Crimes uh, Tribunal after the war. A, a film was shown of some of Tom Dodd's appearances at the Nuremberg trial, and uh, it was riveting. 
uh, he, was, uh, he was brilliant and compelling. And in that extraordinary uh, human historic experience, coming out of the devastation and lawlessness of the Holocaust, established the principle of justice uh, through law. Senator Christod, who spoke that day, reminded us that one of the remarkable achievements of the Nuremberg trial was not just those who were guilty, who were convicted and severely punished, but that three people were actually acquitted at Nuremberg. And that in its way is a testament to the rule of law and justice as well. A beautiful building, 50,000 square feet, a repository of historic papers, Senator Dodd and others, a living legacy that will go on from gener generation to generation, bringing scholars there to study, to write, and to be reminded of the centerpiece of the career of Senator Tom Dodd, which was the struggle for human rights and justice through law, and the need to continue to fight uh, that battle. Mr. President, uh, the day on Sunday was uh, a day in which we dedicated a building, but it was also a day, I think, in which Connecticut was struck and riveted by what was happening to bring the building about. And what it was, truly, was the expression of devotion of a son to his father, an expression of the love of, of Christod and his brothers and sisters for their father and their commitment to honor his memory, uh, as I had the opportunity to say on Sunday in Connecticut, uh, as beautiful a fulfillment as I have ever seen of the biblical commandment to honor uh, one's father and mother. And the Dodd family did it uh, with dignity and with purpose, befitting uh, their father, Tom Dodd, on Sunday in Connecticut. But of course, uh, the, the the truly significant way and the ongoing way in which my colleague from Connecticut and dear friend Chris Dodd honors the memory of his father is by the extraordinary quality of his service in this body, by his personal fight for human rights throughout the world and here at home and particularly here at home for the rights of children, understanding and reminding each of us of Senator Chris Dodd has so often on this floor that a, that a child who is without adequate food, without adequate shelter, without adequate par parentage, without decent health care, without safety and protection from crime and abuse, suffers in that child's way as much as uh, people who are forced to live under tyranny and in that sense is deprived of human rights as well. And it struck me as, uh, and I know my colleagues on the floor, knowing and uh, loving uh, Senator Chris Dodd as I do, will, will, will share the thought that I had on Sunday, which was as we thought about Nuremberg and we thought about the Second World War and the films were there of the Holocaust and the genocide, that uh, our, our colleague and, and friend Senator Christod, in his service and his life, is the diametric opposite of the evils that were portrayed and, and lived and suffered through in the Second World War. Really a, a person without bias, a person of great warmth and compassion, uh, a person of openness to all, and a person who really, in his life, carries on uh, the legacy that uh, his father left him. It was a spectacular day. Uh, which uh, had great meaning for the Dodd family, which truly honored the memory of Senator Thomas Dodd, which uh, the President graced with a magnificent uh, speech, uh, talking, as the President did, about the record of Senator Tom Dodd, but also bringing it to bear on the acts of genocide that have occurred in the former Yugoslavia, on the importance of the war crimes tribunal that is now going on in The Hague directed to uh, the war crimes that have been committed in the former Yugoslavia. Uh, and uh, finally, the president uh, uh, expressed support for the idea of a permanent 
court of international justice, a permanent court uh, operating perhaps through the United Nations, emanating out of the United Nations, which could stand as witness and deterrent, uh, as Senator Dodd did at Nuremberg, to, uh, to prosecute those who violate accepted norms of international justice and fairness. I, I would like at this time, Mr. President, to include within the record, uh, ask unanimous consent to include in the record, the text of President Clinton's remarks at the University of Connecticut dedication of the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center on Sunday, as well as several articles from the Connecticut uh, Press, the Hartford Current, particularly about the life and service of Senator Tom Dodd uh, and what it uh, means uh, to, to each of us today. Without objection, the Senator's time has expired. I thank the Chair and I would yield the floor.